entertainment and education on this particular uh, Queen's Wednesday, which happens to be my favorite day. Uh, shout out to Hilda Wathithi and Kalam Eval for holding it down when I wasn't there, but we here now. And uh, I go by the name of Barry Moses or It's Barry Moon, every social media platform. And we do this every single weekday from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. And I'd like to introduce my guest, who's a student at the, Ken Ken at the Kenyatta University, uh, pursuing a degree in fine arts, and she goes by the name of uh, Faith Njora, Karibu sana. Thank you for having me. Yes, Faith. I mm -hmm. have amazing pieces uh, of uh, pencil work in my hands. We have paintings in the studio. The studio looks gorgeous today, courtesy <laughs> of Faith Njora herself. Thank so, you. So, Faith, before we start talking, mm -hmm. I'd like people to stalk you a little bit. Uh, so, share with us your social media handles as you introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Faith. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me again. Mm -hmm. My social media accounts mm -hmm. at just talk to that camera right there. My mm -hmm. social media accounts mm -hmm. in Instagram is Faith Waco. Mm -hmm. My email is njorafaith13 at gmail.com. Those okay. are the only handles I have currently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. C will, can they find uh, these amazing pieces on your social media? Not yet posted, mm -hmm. but it will with my hashtag Wacos right. at. Uh, everybody was impressed when you walked in with these pieces uh, and uh, currently you're pursuing your bachelor's degree. Yeah. Uh, was this something you've always wanted to do? This was something that started way back since uh -huh. I was a kid because I remember I used to draw uh -huh. in my mathematics book. In, in the mathematics school. book? Yeah, it wasn't interesting at all uh -huh. because I used to get punished a lot uh -huh. and my my teachers used to get irritated at it, uh -huh. but then I told my parents this is what I really wanted. So I'm right I mean to say mathematics was never your my calling. Take. <laughs> it was never my take. If you're drawing in the mathematics book uh, in particular, mm -hmm. it was never your thing. Yeah, I used to find the teachers so boring, but then uh -huh. it's an interesting thing, uh -huh. but then I, I used to get distracted that way. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, when you walked in, uh, somebody said, ah, can a lady uh, do amazing pieces like these ones. Mm -hmm. So it's, it made me question, uh, how many are you in your class? We are 15 girls. 15 girls. And in total, we are 50 guys in class. So it's uh, very, very far from half. Yeah. True, right. Very true. How is it being a female in this particular class? And how do you relate with the guys being um, a male-dominated industry? I think the guys are so open to many ideas. Uh -huh. They are supportive enough. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have, they take it and like, if someone is talented in something and you're not uh -huh. so good at it, they take time and uh -huh. do it for you. Uh -huh. Or practice with you and like take you far with it. All right, so uh, I'd like to know, mm -hmm. uh, people assume this particular field is, uh, is for the talented. You mm -hmm. need to have talent for this. Uh, is this true? And uh, what is the importance of education or uh, pursuing a bachelor's degree in fine art uh, when it comes to this particular industry? Well, I'd say you, some don't have talents when they come to the university. Uh -huh. You're taken from ground uh -huh. and you're taught how to do steps. I remember when I was back in uh -huh. first year, uh -huh. I didn't know how to shade my, my pencil artwork uh -huh. and we were taught each and every step to do uh -huh. it. So you don't have to have the talent, but then it has, uh -huh. you have to have a clue of whatever you're doing exactly. Uh -huh. So step by step, you'll catch up. Step by step, yeah. you'll catch up. Yeah. So it's not, uh, you can have zero talent like me, because I was the worst drawer. Let me tell you, it's about whatever is in your heart. Uh -huh. Maybe some people like to draw, but then they don't know the concept of mm -hmm. it. But then when you come to fine arts, you're uh -huh. taught each and every concept about it. All right. Yeah. Wise words from Faith Jora here. You don't need to have talent. You can pursue whatever you want to do if you put your heart into it. Uh, some people go to her class mm -hmm. without talent and they're taken through the steps. So no excuse for you out there. 22162 is our SMS line. Start with the word YM254. Never forget to leave your name and where you're watching us from. Uh, Faith. Uh, uh, Faith, yeah? mm -hmm. there are very interesting pieces here that really got people talking. And uh, some I can show on air, some I can't. Uh, but it's very interesting, your perspective of a woman. Mm -hmm. What inspired this piece right here? Well, so many ladies go about so many things in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
some of us end up taking bad decisions mm -hmm. and making bad decisions in life. Mm -hmm. You end up solving your issues mm -hmm. in a very different manner. So, and consequences come about it. Mm -hmm. um, I would say this piece really got me because at the age of around 12 years, mm -hmm. I, when I was back in high school, let me just say that, mm -hmm. I, I used to, okay, I really engaged into bad company. Mm -hmm. And we used to take so many things that destroyed our high school life. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of it was getting drunk, mm -hmm. which concluded to so many, pe so many people dropping out from high school. Mm -hmm. We didn't finish up with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently we see them, this is the situation they are in. This is a situation of, uh, of a woman who made a bad decision. Okay. And it can be corrected. Yeah, it can be corrected. It's never too late. It's never too late. Oh, so day-to-day -day life experiences influence your your pieces. Yeah. Also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. There's a. All right. This is another interesting one that got people's attention. Mm -hmm. And uh, the lady to my right is dressed in some sort of African attire. Right? Mm -hmm. What inspired this piece? This one is about models, uh -huh. really. They, they love showcasing their bodies, uh -huh. which is part of their art. Mm -hmm. and body uh, is art. Yeah, body a woman's is art. body is a piece of art. Yeah. All right. And uh, I, women have really good, I would say, structures. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, we use it so differently. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes you as a people of the society give ideas of mm -hmm. how you're going to go about your womanism. Mm -hmm. But I believe giving your all and bringing out whatever mm -hmm. is inside is th the more important thing. Mm -hmm. So this one is about a lady who is being photographed and uh, she's barely <laughs> naked in the upper part. Mm -hmm. And she's just trying to be her. Uh -huh. showing her calves mm -hmm. and uh, trying to send something outside there. You don't have to have a perfect body to stand mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. really. So this is some slight uh, imperfect body, Yeah. you say? Yeah. All right. When we were having a conversation earlier, you were very passionate about empowering a woman. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, woman empowerment has different approaches. Mm -hmm. As an artist, what is your approach? And are you achieving what you're trying? I think women need to stand out in the art world. Mm -hmm. Not so many of them are recognized mm -hmm. in the current market. Mm -hmm. But I believe we have the skill to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so many women are silenced, mm -hmm. which is not a good thing, mm -hmm. especially in uh, different careers. Mm -hmm. But in art, you can bring out whatever you want. Uh -huh. Artists are geniuses. Uh -huh. They can bring whatever. So. To, yeah, uh -huh. they can bring whatever to the table. Give from me their one heart, reason you why have to feel each and every. Give me a art. reason that makes you say. Mm -hmm. uh, a reason why why you say uh, artists are geniuses. Just one reason. Well, I believe not. Not so many people are gifted with this thing. Mm -hmm. The few who are mm -hmm. have different things to put out there. Mm -hmm. And either it relates with painting, pencil artwork, yeah, each and everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I think whatever your plan is uh -huh. or the genius idea you have inside uh -huh. may beat the other artist uh -huh. outside there or it's kind of unrelated. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Uh, before I interrupted you, uh, you were telling me about how you, you're approaching ep empowering a woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'd really, really like to know how you're empowering a woman through these art pieces. Okay. I'll speak about the event that I was telling you about mm -hmm. earlier on. Mm -hmm. This event is going to bring all, all the artistic women. Mm -hmm. Generally, people who are my friends, mm -hmm. we came up with this idea of bringing arts mm -hmm. to the world and showing that women are able to do this. And uh, we are going to involve involve different artists. That includes people with nail art, uh -huh. 
fashion uh -huh. stylist. There's nail art as well. Yeah. Is it taught in school? Not really. Not yet. But, <laughs> but it's coming. Yeah. The day is coming. Yeah. All right. So it's going to involve, uh, is it only a women thing or queens thing? I will say it's more of women thing, uh -huh. but men are invited either We can way. also be yeah, involved. Yeah. All right, I'd like to be there. That's where I'd like to be. So uh, straight to the paintings, from the pencil art uh, to the paintings. Uh, this particular one, what inspired this? When you twist it, actually it's placed wrongly. Uh -huh. When I twist it like this. Oh, no, is this the other way. Nope. Not really. Yeah, like that. Like this? Oh. make it start, like yeah. this yeah all right it's a musical instrument mm -hmm. but then it's it's given in shapes form mm -hmm. what inspired me to do this piece of art is worship worship yeah i'm a christian you're a christian and i love worship so much mm -hmm. and uh, being a christian you have so many things going on in your life mm -hmm. Some things are dark, some things are brought into light uh -huh. when you just hit the notch uh -huh. and worship. There's a lot of temptation Yeah, uh -huh. so in the walk of Christianity. Yes, uh -huh. so this is how this piece came about. I love music mm -hmm. and uh, I love playing it, but then I have no idea about the keys. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. but this is how this painting came about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to piece this? It only took me two hours. Two hours? Yes. And you were done. Mm -hmm. How much does it go for? Just well, pricing, you have to look about so many factors. Uh -huh. You have to look at the prices of the materials you buy, mm -hmm. the paintings, uh -huh. the brushes and everything. Uh -huh. So this. So they invested capital. Exactly. And then the time invested yeah, as well. Exactly. As a factor. Yeah. And then you come up with a price. With a price. Uh, what price can you... Can I... Yes. Okay. I'll take this one for 15,000. 15,000. Yes. Which is quite fair because they go as high as 100,000 yeah. to a million yeah. art pieces. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, have you started selling your pieces? Yeah. Which uh, one is the most expensive you sold? The most expensive piece I've ever sold is 35. 35,000. Yeah. What was it? It was about women. Uh -huh. Yeah. It was a painting drawn of a model. Uh -huh. Yeah. And was it what by a woman or a man? A man. A man. Yeah. <laughs> Part to the women out there, <laughs> and thanks to the men who are really trying to empower, to help empower the women. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Two two one six two is still our SMS line. Start with the word YM two five four. Never forget to leave your name and where you're watching us from, because that's the only way we can give you a shout out. This particular one, as we come to the end of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What inspired this? Uh, the same questions I asked you about this one. What inspired this? And uh, how much does it go for? And how long did it take you to peace? Well, when I was a kid, I really w wanted uh -huh. to travel to so many places. Uh -huh. And these one, these ones are buildings uh -huh. with windows in them. I can tell. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I got this picture from these stories from the jesus story uh -huh, and uh -huh. how their buildings were kept about uh -huh, uh -huh. so the small pictures in yeah, the books yeah uh -huh. so the kids books mm -hmm. i read them as well uh -huh. mm -hmm. so this is what i painted from it uh -huh. i i really wanted so much about i, I really like traveling uh -huh. so you'd really like to experience these yeah things. experience these and things this is your expression uh of what you uh, the this is how you express how much you'd like to see the rest of yeah. the world. Yeah, how true. much does it go for? This is crazy at 25. 25,000. Mm -hmm. All right. How much can they get to buy your pieces? Your social media handles again and your business line. Your camera is number four. Before you tell me another one thing that I'd really like to know. Okay. Uh, uh. So if you want to get my pieces, I'll recommend you to follow me at Faith Walker on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And email me at njorafaith13 at gmail.com mm -hmm. for any piece you want to be done, mm -hmm. starting from the small pieces to the largest pieces. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who inspires you, Faith, as we come to the end of this? Like I said, uh -huh. the person I really look up to uh -huh. is my lecturer. She's called Anne Mitty. Anne Mitty. She really portrays a lot uh -huh. when she teaches us and she builds that thing about ladies that you can really go for it uh -huh. doesn't need you to have a white collar job mm -hmm. 
but these small details that mm. are not concentrated in the society can really take you far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you share with us some of the wisdom she has shared with you guys? These small pieces, I'd like to know. Some of these small pieces, how you carry yourself or what? Well, she talks so much about discipline uh -huh. in the arts or any other work area, you mm -hmm. have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. That goes first before anything else. Mm -hmm. And bring your work, make it fine. As in when you do something, mm -hmm. you have to look at it first and reason with it. Like, I, um, am I impressed uh -huh. with the you work that I brought? Yeah, you, work first yeah, you really you have to be impressed. Before you expect the and world to yeah, be impressed You bring the it. feeling out. Some Someone who is supposed to buy that artwork uh -huh. is supposed to feel whatever you painted mm -hmm. or whatever you did on paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much, Faith, for coming through. Thank you very much for the pieces. And thank you very much for what you're doing for the queens out there. Today is Queens Wednesday, and we appreciate you. I'm looking forward to coming to your gallery sometime in the future. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Okay. This has been another segment of Why in the Morning on this particular Queens Wednesday. And our focus was on fine arts. And our guest of the day was uh, Faith Njora. And uh, you can follow on social media platform just to get uh, a glimpse or a gist of uh, pieces of art and what she's all about. Mm -hmm. Kalami Val and Hilda Wathithi and Shiko Kaitani still have a lot lined up for you. If you're thinking about touching that dial, don't. I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Mo on every social media platform and uh, enjoy the rest of the show.